The South Korean government has invested in the development of the ISMR, or Innovative Small Modular Reactor, with hopes that it may replace thermal power stations. Jung Eun-ju has the details. The ISMR, or Innovative Small Modular Reactor, is 1,000 times safer than current nuclear power plants. South Korea's ISMR business has been recently put into motion. The South Korean government has decided to inject 1.2 trillion won, or roughly 900 million U.S. dollars, into this year's budget for energy technology development such as SMRs. One of their major benefits is that they're safe to install in city centers, and residents wouldn't need to evacuate if there was an accident. The SMR is a combination of many safety improvement technologies that have been studied so far. The probability of a major accident to occur is once in a billion years. With an electric output of 170 megawatts electrical and a size less than 1 to 100 of current nuclear power plants, the ISMR could replace thermal power plants fueled by coal at a cheaper price and with shorter construction periods. Another advantage of the ISMR is that it can stably and cheaply produce hydrogen. I think that we should accelerate the development of hydrogen and nuclear power plants, especially SMR technology. Both the ruling and opposition parties in South Korea guaranteed the safety of SMRs and agreed to help advance it into the export market by 2030. Rather than saying nuclear power plants are dangerous so they're unnecessary, we should try to reduce their risk factors so that people can accept their use. I have the know-how for the predecessor of smart nuclear power plants, and though it's an ambitious plan, I think it's possible to achieve. Roughly 80 kinds of SMRs are being developed globally, and South Korea secured the original technology for the first time in the world in 2012. The market for alternatives to coal power is expected to grow to more than 100 trillion won annually after the 2030s. With South Korea's investment in ISMRs, the race to develop them has already begun. Jung Eun-ju, Arirang News.